Okay, now we're going to do some um, thoracic muscles, vessels, uh, abdominal muscles, those types of things. So just kind of random stuff to finish out the uh, lab three. Okay, so we're looking at the chest plate here. And over here we have your pec major muscle, and here's your pec minor. Yes, you do need to review your muscles. This right here is going to be your rectus abdominis. Remember, that's the straight up and down one. It'll be covered by rectus sheath, which you can kind of see here in white, but we'll see that better on another model. This is going to be external abdominal oblique. These are internal abdominal obliques. Yeah, I know the fiber direction is kind of weird, but they are internal. Superficial here, deeper here. Okay. Here, these would be your external intercostal muscles. Not great on this model, though. We flip this inside out, so we're looking at the inside of the chest wall now. Here's your sternum, here's your ribs. These would be internal intercostal muscles. Out here, towards the armpit area, these are going to be innermost. This is transversus thoracis muscle. Here's your serratus anterior. You can see that better here. Down here we have diaphragms. This is all diaphragm, those muscle fibers that go up and down and straight across is your transverse abdominus muscle. Down here you can see we have a, an artery and a vein. This is inferior epigastric artery and vein. And here are your umbilical ligaments. You have median umbilical ligament in the middle, a medial umbilical ligament on either side. Here's your umbilicus or belly button. This vessel right here, artery and vein together, is internal thoracic artery and vein. It's going to go straight down. You normally have one on this side as well, on either side of the sternum. At the end, you have this last cartilage, rib cartilage here. It's going to send off a branch and then continue straight down as superior epigastric artery and vein. It'll meet up with inferior epigastric artery and vein. These artery and veins coming off of internal thoracic are your internal, I'm sorry, intercostal artery and vein. You'll also have a nerve that runs with those. Just a couple more muscles on here, same stuff. This is pectoralis major, minor would be underneath. Down here with the ribs, you can see some of your muscles pretty nicely. These are serratus anterior. This is external abdominal oblique. These are external intercostals and these are internal intercostals. So if we look at those intercostals up close you can see that the fiber direction is different. External, hands in pockets, internal, opposite. Turning this one over, we can see transversus thoracis nicely, diaphragm, xiphoid process, sternum. No vessels or anything on here, so this is your sternocleidomastoid muscle. Oh, you can't see that. Up here. Okay, we'll look at this one. This one has a nice rectus sheath. That's the white part. It's going to cover both sides of the rectus abdominis muscle. Straight down the middle is your linea alba. These are your external abdominal obliques, hands in pockets, internal abdominal obliques, opposite. This is your serratus anterior on the side, pec major. Over here again you can see serratus anterior, external intercostals, and internal intercostals. Diaphragm goes up, transverse thoracis comes across, I'm sorry, transversus abdominis comes across. These are your transversus thoracis up here. Okay, there's a few things you have to know on this guy here as well. Right here we have our brachial plexus, and we'll go over that in more depth when we do when I do a, a video on the arm, but these muscles here are your scalene, so this is anterior scalene in front of brachial plexus, and this is middle scalene, and then posterior would be behind middle. 
This is your sternocleidomastoid muscle. This nerve sitting on top of anterior scalene is phrenic. That's a landmark for phrenic nerve. Okay, you also have your spinal accessory nerve, which is cranial nerve 11 coming out of your spinal cord. That's going to innervate trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle. Down here at the ribs, we can see sympathetic chain, part of your mediastinum. You've also got your intercostal nerves. Artery and veins run with those. They're just not on this model. Here you can actually see your innermost intercostal. And the way to find those is to follow these intercostal nerves out, or arteries and veins if you have them. Follow them out, and when they disappear under a layer of muscles, that top layer of muscle is innermost intercostal. The nerve continues, but it's covered by muscle. Underneath these nerves on this model are external intercostals. You will never see external, internal, and innermost on the same model. You will either see innermost and external on the back, so this is posterior body wall, or you will see innermost and internal on a front, an anterior body wall. So if I was looking at an area near the sternum from the inside, I would have internal, I mean innermost intercostal and internal intercostal. I know that's a little confusing. And then you can see your subcostal nerve here. We don't have a model with artery and vein, but it's going to be under the last rib, which is here. So here's rib 12, subcostal nerve. You can't call it intercostal because it can't be between another rib if it's under the last one. And I think for, th for now, that's all on this model.